Hi people, I'm back to talk about the Bad Girls Club. I'm, I'm gonna talk about the last three shows, you know, Beach Men Biz and stuff like that, but I'm here now. And um, <clears throat> the show I'm gonna start with is Eye for an Eye. And I would just like to sell oxygen. They can cut me a check or either kiss my ass because I used that title on my video uh, a, a couple of seasons ago. I'm just saying though, if you find it in your heart to give, give a bitch, or give a bitch in need, I, you know, I'm moving on with my life, though. You know, I'm not going to hold a grip. Whatever. I'm just saying, bitch, you need to get paid. You need to get paid. And just like she gave it some thought, and she feels like she shouldn't have jumped down Tierra's throat. It, you know, because Tierra jumped down her throat, her ass. Her eye. Anywho, anywho, I get what she was saying. And she said that she should have, you know, got into Stiza's ass. So you see what that ass whooping do to you? I, I bet she don't got saved and went to church and all that shit. Tierra don't beat the same into her. Spell the rod, spoil the child. I'm just saying. We don't need to call Tierra no more. Tierra no more. We need to call her mama. And really, this bitch has a newfound respect for you. I think she will be obedient from now on. Moving on. You know, you know, you ain't fooling nobody, Angie. You, we, we, we know you got that shit beat into your ass. We, we, we know that ass whooping got you thinking shit like that. You, those aren't your thoughts. You got a scar on your brain, bitch. And you reevaluating your life. She don't fuck you up. You about to go get saved and everything. I wouldn't be surprised if I see her on the 700 Club. I'm just saying a good old ass whooping. <laughs> Sometimes that's all it takes. Change your life. <laughs> We're going to go on and get into this old stupid shit they got going on. They pour um, sizes of bleach out, most of it, and then they put water in it dot 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 irrelevant but you know they went on later on and Stasi wanted to argue about the bleach and all blah 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 it's just like that shit was just sounding like a bunch of damn I just ugh, sound like a bunch of screeching cars and shit I don't know what the fuck you know it was just irrelevant Stasi said some shit about she feeling froggy and all this bitch we don't heard that shit before find you something else to say I'm so tired of these bitch repeating other bitches and shit like they parrot, parrots and shit. Like, I'm just for real, you know, bitch. Just stop repeating what other bitches said on past season. Y'all bitches just need to start saying Polly want a cracker. I, I promise you. And if I hear one more bitch say, um, um, this is the bad girls club. I'm going to burn my bra, burn down the house. I'm going I'm to fuck up some shit. I don't know. I'm breaking my heels, bitch. I don't know. I'm going to slap the cat. Don't please don't say that shit no more. You gonna ruin my life. Andy says she'll kill somebody, and she don't mind, bitch. Who? Who? Who is you gonna kill and you don't mind, bitch? I, you know what? I believe you. I believe you'll kill them and eat them. And you know nobody can't tell me that cat stacks is not in your bowels. She's in your digestive tract. You swallowed that bitch, and every time you talk. We hear her screaming. That's that bitch. Don't that what that bitch sound like? Her voice. It just makes me upset. Like, I don't. You know, I'm just surprised she didn't get ass whooped before now. Because really, the way when she talks, like if she's like, "How you doing? Good morning. How are you doing?" I'm like, "Bitch, who you talking to? Are you a what bitch? What you call me?" Her voice is just irritating. Her voice. You just want to fight her. You just want her to not talk. Like, bitch, please, do everybody a favor. Be a mom, a monk. Bitch, find something that don't talk and be that. Okay? Um, I, I, I just don't like when she talk. I don't like when she talk. And, you know, please shit cat stacks out. Please. Sound like nails on the chalkboard. That bitch be driving me crazy when she talk. I be, I just, bitch make you want to turn the channel. I can't take it. Damn, just give us caption for her. We don't have to hear her speak. Oof. You know, when she talking shit, I saw her itching and shit. I, I just can't take it. It does something to my fucking nerves, bitch. She just need to stop huffing helium and shit. It's fucking her up. But, um, bitch, go work for um Mickey Mouse Incorporated or some shit, bitch. Go work for them. You know, every time she talk, I'm just like, damn you, Pikachu. Pikachu. 
this bitch, that voice, that voice will make you murder people. That voice will make you do crazy shit. That voice will make you pull an Anthony saw. That voice, I'm just saying that voice. You know, we send that bitch to Iraq, the soldiers will be home. That voice, powerful. Mm, that's what you got, bitch. Oof. I'm going to let that go because, I mean, but, cause, you know, come on, I have to deal with it the next show and the next show until this bitch disappear. And I just hope she can find some other way. You know, the bitch can sign language or some shit. You know, I I, I don't, I'm just, just, bitch, please. You know, size to go off or should I say go on because the bitch really act like she be on air or some shit. The bitch be acting like a motherfucker. Bitch be doing scene by scene. Action cut, bitch. We have you figured out, Stasi. Um, Put that bitch on Broadway. I mean, I I just can't with these hoes. I can't with these hoes today. I can't. I'm tired and I can't. It just takes too much energy out my spirit. I don't know what to do. She don't do a damn thing. Won't crack an egg. She a ball of egg. But the bitch won't crack egg. Won't bust a grape. Um, you know, Stasi, I, we need for you to stop acting like Billy Badass if you ain't going to beat no ass. I just want you to hush. I just want you to be quiet and sit down. Whatever. She got some shit put in the context. She was raising hell about that. Ooh, right now, somebody better get to talking. She going to do everybody. She going to do this. She going to do that. And she going to, she ain't do shit. She went and bought some more motherfucking contact. Punk bitch. I am oversizing in her antics. Bitch, we have figured you out. Mystery solved, bitch. Okay? Mystery solved. Let's move on to the good shit. Judy threw cereal on Priscilla. Talking about, I gave you breakfast in bed. I'll knock it on the door. I gave you breakfast in bed. She was doing all that. I gave you breakfast in bed. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I can't believe she had to do all that shit to wake that bitch up. What type of sleep she was in. The bitch was in a coma. I don't know. She needed resuscitation. Because when the shit hit me, like the water, bitch. I don't know. I probably would have started, you know, trying to do the backstroke because I would have thought it would water at first in my dreams. But, bitch, the people woke a bitch up. I'm just saying. That motherfucking roost on that catalog box. cock a doo doo Bitch, that cereal, that wet cereal and shit, that would have, that wet cereal and that shit would have brought me right up out my sleep. I don't give a damn. But anyway, bitch didn't wake up right away. She had to um motivate her to get up and kick her ass. And I gave you breakfast in bed. I served you breakfast in bed. And then her little punk no fighting ass. Bitch, you bitch, you know you can't fight. Like you just I mean if you come on now, if you gonna provoke the bitch, provoke her a little bit where she whoop your ass enough but then try to key because I felt like she was gonna I felt like she won't she did want to key. She got a knife. No, she was acting. That's how them bitches do. That's for the that's the drama trying to give us dramatics. Okay, I understand. But anyway, moving on. Um, you get you serve her breakfast in bed, and that bitch battered you like some pancakes and beat you like eggs, bitch. So, um, what can I say? Uh, you were breakfast, bitch. Uh, <laughs> was it worth it? Was it worth it, Judy? I don't know what to think about you, bitch. You crazy, and you make everybody else crazy watching your ass. But I'm just saying, um, uh, was it worth it? Can we say Waffle House? <laughs> That bitch prepared you like breakfast, though. <laughs> That's some fucked up shit. Trying to feed somebody breakfast and you become breakfast. That bitch fucked you up. I don't know, Judy. I don't know how many beatings you can take, girl. You got to fight um um foul workman's cunt fucking around bad girl club. But you can't fight an inch of lick a mile of lick a something a centimeter, bitch. You cannot hook. You can't fight. No, she got some good comebacks. The bitch be fighting with words. She makes people very angry. She do. But you need some shit to go along with that, bitch. Like, bitch, that's ketchup without mustard, bitch. How you gonna have a mouth like that and you can't even scratch a bitch properly? I don't understand how somebody crazy can't fight. And, um, I don't even know why the bitch got a knife. Either when she was fighting Judy, she gonna go get the knife. I want the knife, please. Why did the bitch get the knife and put the knife right down? Like, what was your purpose of having the knife? Why you get the knife? Like, you really were going to stab somebody for a I mean, whatever. 
it made it more fancy the fight and all you know but you didn't need that because you really beat the shit out of her you beat the shit out of her whatever disease that hell forgot you got it i'm just saying you and that motherfucker related i know some of her um genetics and blood got into you you beat the shit out of her she was bleeding carrying on swollen up looking like a teletubby um sit your ass down judy talking about you jesus christ he rode from the dead bitch once it's over for you it's over priscilla on the phone after judy left and she confused about why she gotta go home bitch you lucky you ain't going to jail you better go on home that's your get out of jail free card bitch bye bye toodles bye bitch you was the bitch we was gonna forget before the show ended in a way and you went out on a bang and that's the highlight of your career bitch and if you didn't fight her, you would have been lost in the dust, bitch. So, good thing you did something. You whooped somebody's ass. Because I, I, I really couldn't remember who you were. I was getting you mixed up with another bitch. I, I don't even know. I Moving on. But, you know, she said she was raised in the hood. This is what she said when she whooped Judy ass. And then when she was packing her ba bags and shit, she was saying she was too classy, too, too classy to stay with these dirty hoes. So you so classy, you leaving a mansion and going back to the hood. Like, what the fuck? Like, help me here. These bitches contradict themselves in like five minutes flat. Judy went fighting back, though. I mean, you can get your ass whooped and have dignity, Judy. What was your point of not fighting back? Why you didn't tickle the bitch or something? Why you didn't play footsie with the bitch? You could at least scratch the bitch on her teeth. You could at least pinch the bitch. You know, I would have been satisfied if you just just bit the bitch. You know, if you stepped on the bitch feet, something, Judy, something. Judy didn't even fight back. I don't know what to say about Judy. I don't know. Judy like abuse. I don't know. The bitch might be into S and M. I I don't understand. I don't understand. And I wouldn't trust fighting a hoe like that, neither. If a hoe let me whoop her ass and she ain't trying to scratch her tip or nothing, the bitch ain't trying to blow me a kiss or nothing, and I'm beating the hell out of her. I be I stop fighting that bitch. I be looking at bitch. I be looking at that bitch suspicious and shit. Like bitch, what the fuck are you doing, bitch? Do you got Ebola, bitch? What do you have, bitch? Asbestos, bitch. What do you have? What are you trying to give me, bitch? I wouldn't want to touch that bitch. I be fighting that bitch. That bitch won't fight back. I look at that bitch and I turn around and take out running. I damn sure will, cause something ain't right. Something ain't right. Bitch probably trying to get a strain in your hair. You know she do voodoo and shit. You like why? Wow, oh, it's just a person you beat an ass, bitch. Ghosts don't fight back either, but that don't mean I wanna have no type of confrontation going on with them. I'm just saying. Live to fight another day. Fuck it. Bitch trying to give you mad cow disease or some shit. You know what that bitch got going on? Tasha that kick you tried to sneak on Judy. You know, it was weak by the fucking way that old punk ass kick. And the bitch should have got your ankle and fucking broke your knee. You sorry bitch. Trying to get a who the fuck sucker kicks somebody. Shelly called her girlfriend when she get home, and she say her friends are um being constantly personally attacked, and you know I'm just like bitch, you so concerned though, bitch. But every time they personally, constantly, personally attack, bitch, you in a coma though, bitch. You be sleep. I don't even think that bitch be sleep for real. I think she be pretending to be sleep. The bitch be so scared she be fainting. That would the bitch be faint. She be done past that. That's what she be damn doing. Shelly ain't fooling no damn body. You always sleep, bitch. Every time you been sleep. And you know, that's all that bitch do is act concerned and then go to sleep. Bitch, bitch, what, I mean, what, you complaining? What the fuck are you doing? Are you fighting in your dreams for them? And you know, your whack ass weave is more genuine than you are. Then this bitch gonna say, how much longer will it take her to bust? Bitch, it's Bitch, three more seasons, then you ain't gonna be there. So, uh, please stop it. How long will it take for you to bust, though, bitch? Really, for real? More like leak. <laughs> bitch, somebody bust, really? More like leak, bitch. How long is it gonna take for you to leak, bitch? That's you, bitch. You ain't gonna bust. You ain't gonna bust a damn thing, okay? Bust your damn ass on that pillow and go to sleep. Then Judy said something about 
At least I don't need implants to look good. Shelly jump up like she bad. And then, you know, you, you see, see, Judy, I know you think you crucified yourself and shit, you know, like you Jesus or somebody. But you see, when you get your ass whooped, how everybody want to whoop your ass. You don't gave that bitch some confidence seeing you get fucked up. I don't understand how somebody can beat the hell out of you and, and, and beat balls into another bitch and I ain't even touch them. Like, that, that, that's the type of shit I'm talking about. Oh, I seen her get her ass whooped. Oh, maybe I can whoop that ass. You know, they get all this self-confidence and shit like they can take you and shit. You know, but she ain't really want it before. Shelly, you are not Priscilla and, you know, this bitch gotta be high off some shit. It's just like little boys watching Superman and shit and then they won't jump off the damn bed and think they can fly. Shelly, it ain't happening for you, boo-boo. Please sit your ass down, okay? Because she, she can't fight. Like the bitch already don't fucking bust you before you even knew she was a sucker. Judy can't fight, but she, she can fight you, though. <laughs> she got a chance with you, though. We've seen that. Bitch, this ain't Xbox, you know? Green button, yellow button, red button, and, you know, it will not give you the Priscilla combo kicks. Shelly, I can't take it. I can't, Shelly. I can't take it, Shelly. I can't take you and your greasy, grease, grease, the grease weed. I can't take this bitch and her slip and slide, um, Remy. It ain't Remy. I don't know what the fuck that is. Slip and slide, dog. That bitch got this chinchilla. That slip chihuahua. Bitch got that slip and slide, slide so in chihuahua. Then starts to get in front of Judy and tell Shelly she tired of her picking on Judy. So, you know, I'm like, oh, shit, what a popcorn. You know what I'm saying? Styles is finna whoop up on some ass, and then Styles is gonna throw that little weak ass punch. That weak ass little punch. You know the kind when how the baby hand move when they shaking a the rattle. Um, you won't fuck with nobody else, cause even though Styles is a punk and she full of hot air, bitch, you wouldn't even stand up to Styles when she was like, stop fucking with Judy and whatever. And you know, I'm just saying, you funny shape, Chewbacca roll side fucking false chinchilla. Um, wee wham, bitch. I just want you to leave Judy alone, Shelly. You know, bitch, your weave ain't got split in. It got tire tracks. 100% animal. Shelly, I'm gonna need for you to kill your another animal, bitch, and, and do your new sewing. Oh, I don't know what to do with this funny shaped banana body, bitch. I don't know what to do with Shelly. I don't like Shelly. Angie, she says she's tired of Shelly and Judy fighting. Shelly get mad because Angie talking to Tiara. Shelly, where do you get your balls? Like I said, maybe she saved him from six months ago when she was sucking up on some man dick before she decided to turn into a full-blown lesbian. This bitch is a temp agency lesbian. So I just say Judy fights um, become her fights. Bitch, no, Judy's fights become your fuss. Sazi, you don't fight no damn body, you fuss. This bitch... All you do is argue. And, I mean, how her fight become your fight when you don't even fucking fight? And, you know, I ain't saying fight for her, but I'm just saying be real about it, bitch. It ain't smart. You can't fight. I mean, come on now. Let's be a little rational, Judy. You're going to have to come up some uh, more creative ways to get at these bitches because, you know, you don't want to leave this motherfucker with um broken hip, arms, and legs, and scratch. I don't know, because the bitches that's in there, I don't know what they can do, but Priscilla showed pulled a um, bag of wolf ass out of nowhere, because I didn't know she had it in her. And so Stasi threw Tasha's trash back into Tasha's room. Irrelevant, and then they were arguing about it, and all that old shit, because this is what they do. She asked, she asked Stasi about the trash. I guess it was a conversation piece, because she didn't do... She did absolutely nothing. Like, what was the point of her asking? Sizing about the damn trash. Sizing told the chick next to her to scoot over. And she threw her whole drunk in her, this bitch face. Now, Sizing don't be fighting. This bitch won't fight. She won't scratch you or tickle you in them. That bitch will throw a cup full of juice and spit on your ass. And the rest of them some damn punks. And that's why ain't nobody dived on her yet. I gotta admit, though, there was some boss ass shit how she did that. She was like, scoot over. And be scooted over and she just sat there with her little straight face looking serious as hell and splash. The bitch sent that bitch to Six Flags somewhere. White water, bitch. Yeah, that was boss the way she did this shit. I don't care. It just boss the whole swag of it. Like, I, how can you have swag throwing drinks in somebody's face? I don't know. But I learned that day 
That bitch schooled me. I like that. But she a drink throwing ass bitch though. Then Tasha tried to say Stasi acting up for the new girl like she putting on ass for the new girl. Bitch, you are wrong. Stasi is not putting on the airs for the new girl. Stasi putting on airs for the bad girls club, bitch. Stasi was putting on airs before the bitch got there, so therefore you are wrong and you putting on airs and trying to manipulate the new girl to make the girl think some shit that ain't so. Talking about she acting up for the new girl. And I'm just thinking, you know, Stasi always throw drinks, though. You know, that's a drink tossing bitch. That's what Stasi do. She don't fight. She throws like drinks. Well, fuck it. Whatever. That's what she do. And it works because y'all some fucking punks. So that's about all you need to do, you know. Blow on you bitches. Scratch you. Throw a drink. Tickle you. All that shit works. Just scare y'all little punk asses. So whatever. So, Tasha, stop acting like you brand new to this shit. You stop acting brand new to this shit because Stasi been doing all this shit she done. You know, and don't be feeding the new girl lies, you know, because she'll be the next bitch wet. Majority of the girls in the house, they're wimps. You know, these hoes, they're just so artificial and shit. Like, these bitches Kool-Aid. Like, it ain't no 100% juice. Nobody, these bitches just so fake. Stasi kept going upside Tasha head and shit. She was doing that number, you know what I'm saying? And, um, it, they didn't fight. I didn't get that. I don't understand, you know. This bitch going upside your head. She mushing you and shit. Like, what the fuck you need, bitch? A file corn? Five, four, three, two, one. Punch a bitch. Like, what do you need? What do you need, bitch? And swing on her. Swing on that bitch. I'm just saying, I have to give you a little sample of how to do it. That's all. And these some fill-ass Botox-ass hoes. And, ugh. We're all fake. This is the bad girls club. You no, know, Tasha delusional. She thinks she Kim Kardashian. She thinks she classy, which is short for punk. She, this is something I noticed on the bad girl club. They always hollering, I'm classy, I'm classy. I got class. They, this is shit they say to avoid fighting. They classy. They classy. No, bitch, you punk. You a punk. They take new new girl out. Blah, blah, blah. Judy's getting along with the new girl. Judy, don't fuck this up. Well, you probably fuck it up, but whatever. I'm not going to ask you that. I know that's a struggle. I'm not going to do that to you, Judy. Okay, moving on. Keep the show good, though, girl. Keep getting that ass whooped. Judy called Stassi ass out, though, about being chatty with Angie and talking about Angie at the same time. And I think it touched the nerve because um, Stassi asked didn't want to really let Judy say shit. And when she started to cry, I felt so bad for her because she really trying to be accepted. This is just the wrong place to try to be accepted, Judy. Like, when you come in the house full of uh, crazy, silly-ass hoes, and, you you know, don't try to be accepted accepted amongst them. You know, you need a better crowd. Wait till you leave the bad girls club and find somebody that can um affect your life in a positive light. Half of them try to be your friend on a reunion. Well, no, they won't, Judy, because you can't fight, so they ain't scared of you. Most of the time, they try to be friend people they're afraid of. Everybody will probably try to be Stasi's friend. Because, you know, then whoop ass city. Because, you know, the show is over. So you can fuck a bitch up then. Then again, maybe not. Because a lot of them see that they fucked up. And they, they was lame on the show and shit. And they didn't really play they, play their part up. And people weren't really interested in them. Then they try to get all extra, extra on the damn reunion and shit. So those are the two scenarios you have. You have a bad bitch that been waiting to whoop a bitch ass all season. And they use the opportunity at a reunion. And then you got hoes that were practically invisible. You know, playing Casper and shit, and then they get on the reunion and shit, and they want to be motherfucking Beyonce or some damn body. That. Cheyenne said some racist shit on, on the next show, but I'll get into that later. And, and I'm just like, what do you expect from a bitch with an action in front of her damn name? I'm just so over these bitches try to slide little racist little shit or little stereotypical shit. They try to slide it in now, just slide it in now. They right there, I'm over that shit, whatever. Um, they be revealing themselves um, in a minute way, but motherfucker, we see you. We see what you're doing. We see what's inside you, bitch, because you letting the funky shit leak out. You just started some shit, Cheyenne, and um, your name gonna be shit Ann. That's your name, bitch. But I just knew from that then the end of that show that you were gonna be coming back with the next show saying some fucked up shit. The show started with Shelly and Shy looking like they probably gonna be fucking by the end of the show and you know cheyenne it, um it's the gay bitch in denial um 
this season. And um and she touched Greasy. She touched Greasy's coochie, bitch. Like, either you gay or you gay a little bit. You one of them, bitch. Cheyenne complained about being uh the club at the club and feeling like an outcast because she was one of the only white girl besides Shelly. I kind of understood that when she said that on the phone, when she was in the phone room. At that point in time, I was thinking, hmm, I can understand that. And her not liking uh, black guys, I was like, huh, that's a preference. Styles got her hair, did, dot, 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 irrelevant. I don't know, they love showing black women on there getting their weaves sewn in, don't they? Hmm. Now, the white chicks be wearing weave too, but they don't never show them applying it. And they need to show me how Shelly applied that shit she got on her head, because it would be very interesting, you know, because I, I, no matter where you look on YouTube, you know, I can't find uh, nobody sewing in rock wild of hell. Stasi talking about she want to be perfect or Tierra have a big birthday at home and shit. Stasi acting like Tierra, her damn baby or her girlfriend. I don't fucking know. Stasi seem like she's going to feel in love, y'all. And I don't want to say that, bitch, but really she was acting how Shelly might act with her girlfriend or her brother. I'm just saying. Stasi was a little too sensitive and shit. Then they decided to go to um, Envy to celebrate Tierra's birthday. And Sha made the comments again about going to the predominantly black club and then I was like it ain't your birthday bitch though it ain't your birthday bitch though you gonna complain about where the fuck are you going on somebody else's birthday celebration for real so see that bitch right there she already turned to me she already turned to me I don't even know I don't even know about this bitch I don't know she continued to go on and on until she said the clubs were ghetto and hood and I'm like, okay, hold up, bitch. Hold up, bitch. Hold up, bitch. Tick, 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 bitch. Hold up. Too far, bitch. Too far, bitch. Stop, bitch. Stop, bitch. You turn permitted, bitch. And while she was sitting up there looking like a damn wet rat. I was already looking at her earlier in the show. And I was like, look at it, bitch. Looking at all greasy fish. Like, I, she just really look, look funny. You out of fuck, Shelly, because, you know, you look greasy and moist and like you fix cars and shit. And um, y'all can be hot, sweaty, and uh, smelling like vinegar and shit and all that shit together. <laughs> they do look like they smell like vinegar, y'all. Don't be, don't look at me like in, in olives and some ketchup and a little mayonnaise. Call me a bitch again. The one thing I am going to say, every time I start to say, Call me a bitch again. Them bitch don't never call her a bitch again, do they? They punk assy. And so Stasi got mad because Judy brought the cake um, to Tiara. I don't know what's going on with this bitch. I don't know if she's on her rag. This bitch was really acting like she was PMS. This bitch needs some might all. I don't know what was going on with this bitch. She was on her thing. Bitch, tampon too big, bitch. Downsize something. You know, it maybe it wasn't feeling right up in now. I don't know. I don't trust Stasi anymore. I, I just don't trust her. And I know she's phony because she's given us one impression in the beginning. And now everybody feeling iffy about her. She, bitch can't be trusted. She flip-flop. Bitch flip-flop. Bitch more flip-flop than beach sounders. I ain't even playing her. You know, I want to continue cheering for her. But, you know, bitch, I don't drop one of my pom-poms. So, I, I don't know, Stasi. I, I dropped one of them, bitch. Judy, sweetie, please stop trying so hard. I mean, you're weird. They'll never understand you. So, you know, accept yourself. Laugh at your own jokes. Fuck it. But Cheyenne, you know, I feel like she probably a fake annoying bitch. How she gonna say she like dirt bag bars? But call the places she was going to that was full of black people ghetto and hood bitch dirt rag bag ghetto trailer trash hood redneck same thing bitch same thing and the fact that you don't see the similarity confirms to me you are probably racist all that shit with ghetto hood trailer trash redneck that's about a certain class you cool with hanging in dirt bag bars but you don't hang in the hood so class ain't the issue for you. It's race, bitch. 
I just want to point it out. Stasi's still mad about the cake. You know, bitch, eat the cake. Eat the fucking cake. Plug that damn mouth. I'm almost over this bitch. Looking like hungry, hungry hippo. That's you on the game board, bitch. <laughs> hungry, hungry hippo. Judy says some real shit inside it, though. If we're friends, we're friends. If we're not, we're not. Let, just let me know. Bitch, that's some shit I say. I go to a bitch and be just like that and be serious too. Then Stasi gonna say, shut up, Judy. I'm just so sick of Miss Watch My Own Ass Shake. Yeah, that's you, Stasi. Miss Watch My Own Ass Shake. I saw you. That's what you do. She go in the club and be watching her own ass. That's that bitch. I'm sick of hungry, hungry hippo. I want her to stop trying to be everybody mama. So Judy got the voodoo doll and you know, we're back in business. This <laughs> bitch gonna start some shit. Now she back with Miss Voodoo. Cause her and Miss Voodoo ain't here no shit. If Stasi, you know, don't get the information she need and use it like she's supposed to use it, I'm gonna be through that bullshit. You Shelly, you a damn fool if you fall for this shit Stasi trying to pull. I feel like Stasi really wants to control Judy and shit, acting like a uh, fucking ain't your mama mama bitch sit down please sit down and um find you some pancakes you know Stasi is giving me Char now Stasi act like she want to fuck Tierra we'll see I love these people that was one that was a strike that right there would have had me now I'm sitting back chilling they be saying I love these people oh, this shit would have made me sit up I don't want black guys looking at my ass we been to every hood ghetto place. That's a no no bitch. Here's a side note. T era is made of stick and has more ass than you, Cheyenne. You'd probably stand out, but it wouldn't be because of ass. Not in a club full of black people that has a lot of black girls. That crack in your back, if they're looking at it, it's because they're trying to find it. This bitch was really killing me talking about somebody looking at her non-existent ass. No ass at all? Hell no. That's your name, bitch. I was just flabbergasted. Like, I was like, bitch, don't you dare do this to me. Like, this bitch was saying she didn't want nobody to look at her ass that she doesn't have. I'm over the moon, bitch. I am over the moon. You long back snake booty bitch. We're going to call you snake cakes. That's what we're going to call you snake cakes, bitch. How dare you tell lies, bitch. You know, my feet got more ass than you, bitch. My feet. I said it. Yes, I did. Tierra doesn't exactly agree with Sazia. Um, so we'll see. And Shane, you gay as hell. You gay as hell, bitch. You gay in the rainbow, bitch. You are gayer than a gay man's thongs bitch you are gayer than a damn confused penguin bitch you gay bitch they don't know bitch touch another bitch vagina if they not gay you gay they talking about at least bi cure this bitch touching this bitch vagina they say bisexual i was thinking about curious at first but shit bitch curiosity bitch ain't no curiosity bitch you touched it you know the feel like smell like did you hold it up to you know? Did it smell like gasoline? Because Shelly really looked like a fucking can of uh, oil spill. She just looked greasy and wet and shit like that. And I just don't know what to do with her. I just want to bathe that bitch. You, know, you should have touched her with a rag and helped her out. But you look greasy too, bitch. So I guess you need to do yourself first before you went anybody else. But you a gay, you a gay bitch. I, I'm not saying anything wrong with it. I'm saying if that's what you are, that's what you are. And Shelly, you, you old nasty ass hoe you. Don't you got a girlfriend? That doesn't scream relationship. I'm not getting relationship. I'm getting whore, whore, whore. Like an alarm. Go work for Brinks, bitch. Before I go, I would like to show you me wearing my little earrings and my red lipstick to match my shirt. And I wore this shirt in honor of Tierra's birthday. This is the same shirt Tierra had on, except mine is red. But here it goes. You see my shirt? Happy birthday, you little scrawn bitch. Yeah, here's the shirt. But she got, she got, she has a black one. I'll be back next week to talk about the Bad Girls Club. So hug somebody today, and if you don't like the bitch, I say slap. Her.